Good day everyone. This is Master Manuel. Today we're going to learn about assembling the EV3 robot and parts of the brick controller. First, let's learn about the parts of the brick controller. The brick controller has a lot of ports that we can use for a lot of different kinds of functionalities. It has five categories, which includes input ports, we have four slots, output ports, we have four slots, host port, we have one slot, card port, we have one slot, and we have the PC port. Okay, let's move on. We have the input ports. It has four slots, okay? Input ports, one, two, three, and four. Input ports are used to connect the sensors. These are the default ports for the sensors. Always remember the order from port one to port four. Okay, we have port one, we have the touch sensor. 2, we have the gyro sensor, 3, we have the color sensor, 4, we have the ultrasonic sensor. This is the default ports for the sensors, but you can always connect the sensors in different ports if you want to. But it will be a lot easier if you follow this. Next, we have the output ports, which has four slots, okay? We have output A, B, C, and D, okay? Output ports are used to connect the motors. These are the default ports for the motors. Always remember the order from port A to D. Okay, so we have port A, which is the medium motor. We have B, okay, the large motor. C, we have the large motor. And D, we have the large motor. The question is, can we switch from port to port? Yes, you can do that. For example, you the large motor, you can connect it to A. But I tell you, it will be a lot easier for you to program if you follow the default ports for each motor. Okay, next we have the host port, which has one slot. Okay, it's, it's over here. You will see USB. All right, so this is what we call the host port. Okay, this is used to add a USB Wi-Fi dongle for connecting to a wireless network. Okay, so you can put a Wi-Fi dongle here. So you can connect your brick controller to your computer wirelessly without any cable. Or you can connect to multiple bricks using the DAISY chain. Next, we have the card port, which has one slot. Okay, it's over here beside the USB port. Okay, this is, this is what we use to add more space or add more memory in our brick controller. We can put an SD card here to increase the available memory for your EV3 brick. Okay, the maximum is 32 gigabyte. Next, we have the PC port, of course, one slot. This one is the smallest port, okay, which is beside the port D. Okay, this one is used to connect your EV3 brick to the computer using a USB cable. All right, turning on and turning off the brick. To turn on the brick controller, press the center button. After you press the button, the brick status light will turn red and the starting screen will be displayed. That is how you turn on the brick controller. To turn off the brick controller, just press the back button until you see the shutdown screen. The abort X will already be selected. Use the right button to select the accept check mark, then press the center button for OK. Your EV3 brick is now turned off. If you press OK while X is selected, you will you will return to the run recent screen. Next we have some important tips. Okay, some important information about batteries. First, never use different kinds of batteries together, including mixing old and new batteries. Number two, remove batteries from the EV3 brick when not in use, okay, to save battery. Three, never use damaged batteries, okay, it can destroy the brick controller as well. Number four, use the correct battery charger under the supervision of an adult or your teacher, of course, okay. Five, never attempt to Recharge batteries that are not rechargeable. Never ever charge batteries that are not rechargeable, okay? Power saving practices. Number one, remove the batteries between use. If you're not using the robot, you can use you can remove the battery first to, to save. Remember to keep each set of batteries in its own storage container so they can be used together. Reduce the sound or reduce the volume of the brick controller. Next, we have adjust the sleep setting. 
So if you're not using your robot, the brake controller will turn into sleep. Last, we have turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi when not in use. When you're not using the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, you should turn it off. So we have an exercise, everyone. Please answer this one. Okay, this one is fill in the blanks. And next, we have true or false. All right, after doing the exercise here, I'm going to post some uh, tutorial on how to assemble the EV3 Brick Explorer robot. Okay, so this is how you prepare the set. Okay, everything must be organized. Okay, all, all parts should be in the proper place. Okay, assembling the robot, first step. For the right motor assembly. Second, for the left motor assembly. Third, for the back caster assembly. Fourth, for the right motor, left motor, and back caster combining together. Fifth, the turn base round. Okay, and to connect the motors to the brick, you will have to use a cable. A USB cable. <laughs>